Hi guys, PJ back at it again with my first PC video for 2018. Now it's been a bit of a slow start to the year, there's not really many new releases, uh, if any in January that I can think of that are of any consequence at the moment, we're only halfway through so uh, bear that one in mind. So I thought we'd have a look at uh, this hunting simulator, it came out obviously last year but uh, I've not gone through all the options for graphics, settings etc so if you are thinking of buying it, wondering if your computer will run it well enough, if it looks very nice, this might be the video for you. Now, um, since last year, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I was running an old R9290X 4GB graphics card. That got upgraded this year to a GTX 1060, uh, the ROG version, so it's overclocked as factory, and it's the 6GB version. Okay, CPU at the moment is still the same. Uh, we're on an 8350 at 4.2, and the RAM is still the same at 1833 MHz. As you will probably have noticed, all the mining has sent the prices and stuff sky eye, and also RAM is sky eye at the moment, so it's sort of holding off a little bit. So let's get to the, the start list. We'll start with through the options. First time I've loaded the game, so I don't know what to expect. Let's have a look, see. So straight off the bat, first thing I noticed, um, if you've got an Xbox controller, yes, natively works. Up and down there, there you go. Everything works fine on Xbox controller, okay? Uh, keyboard and mouse is where I would prefer to play something like this. Obviously, precision being the... Uh, the thing here okay so let's have a look we've got campaign we've got free hunt multiplayer options and extras so if we go straight to our options and have a look now i'm sorry about the very slight hissing that you get uh through this microphone this year i have actually ordered a nice microphone so uh, this rather rubbishy headset which causes all my speech and audio problems that will be going in the bin be pleased to know if you're a regular reviewer of this channel you'll be thinking thank god okay so at the top we have gameplay uh difficulty obviously easy medium hard uh, enable hints enable bullet time character select character okay oh, we've got loads of different characters here look there we go male female different clothes designs etc like thomas He's wearing a hat in a hot sunny day. He will be fine. Okay, what else have we got? I wish it was a hot sunny day here. It's minus two currently. Okay, so if we go down, we'll leave display to last because that's going to be the bigger one, isn't it? Audio, what options do we have? We've got master volume, ambience, sound effect, and voice. So it looks like it's a stereo game. Can't see any support for surround sound, unfortunately. Controls, like I mentioned, you know, keyboard, mouse, controller not a problem you can invert your axes aim assist mouse smoothing picture blah, 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 blah. Yeah. okay what else have we got key bindings here standard affair is default wsad primary fire secondary fire switch weapon as you would expect switch camera mode okay that'd be something to have a, have a nice play around with and then different items mini map is m Drone forwards and backwards. Okay, so it's uh, a bit like we're playing Ghost Recon or something, isn't it? That's cool. Where we go? Turbo. In a hunting simulator? Okay. We'll, we'll see what Turbo does. What button is Turbo? Left shift. They mean run, don't they? Oh no. Okay. So, remove waypoint. Yeah, okay. We got all that, yeah. If you want to look through these options in a bit more detail, obviously pause the video and just have a quick look there because I'm sort of skirting through these ones. Okay, so if we go to display, uh, we've got show compass, unit for weight, options are kilos and pounds. Hey, I'm old, so I'll stick with pounds. That's cool. Unit for length, metric, meters. Yeah, yards. Yards is good. We'll stick with meters because I know a lot of you guys are using meters. I can do yards. That'd be cool. Use 12 hour system, nah, head bobbing, yeah, okay. Graphics, now this is an Unreal Engine game, uh, so we, we should be a bit flexible. Resolution, this is the default resolution for my ultra wide monitor. Um, this will scale all the way up to 4K, not a problem. So if you want to plug it in your 4K telly, sit back with your controller and chill, not a problem. My options will be a bit different to yours if you're in a 1080p monitor, so there we go, you know, there's some weird res as you're going to see coming up. 720 there I just saw, 960. Yeah, good good amount of options there. 1920 be 1080 there, and of course my ultra wide setting. 
So screen mode, we're going to have full screen, full screen windowed and windowed, as you would expect. Resolution scale, 100%. And turning that down, obviously, if your graphics card is struggling at a loss of image quality. Though. Field of view, 90. What does it go up to? 100. That's fair enough, isn't it, really? Let's go back to 90. And thereabouts, there we go. Textures, we are set on epic. Oh, so we got low, medium, high, epic. Anti-aliasing, medium. It doesn't tell you if it's FXAA or such like, so... Oh, it actually changes the display picture behind there. If you look closely, I switched it to low then, and then back to epic. Yeah, you can see that. I saw the shadows more than anything, actually. So low, medium, high. Not much difference between high and medium there. Epic. I think if you go medium or above, like mine was set to, you'd be okay, you know. We'll see. Visual effects. Epic. Low. What did we lose? We lost some of the reflections, I believe. Okay. Medium, high. Epic. Post-processing. Epic. Low. Oh! We've suddenly gone shadowed or dark. Medium. Darker. That's an odd setting. High, brightening it back up again. And epic. That has a very strange effect on the picture, doesn't it? Okay, motion blur. We have epic and off. Really? Yeah, really. Epic and off. No other. Okay, what else have we got? Detailed fur. We're looking at the stag we've got down there. Is that detailed? That's off. And that's on. You probably have to get near them to notice that. View distance, epic, low. Oh, we lost we lost something uh, on the trees then behind the menu. Check out the bush, sort of here. So if we go back to low, yeah, you're definitely using some uh, detail there. Medium high, not much in high and epic. Can't see much there. You'd need a long distance view to probably notice something. Uh, foliage, we're on epic. There's low. Still looks nice, but it has lost some. It lost all the branches that you can see lying around the debris on the floor when you go from epic to low. So if we go watch this branch here, you'll see what I mean. There we go. Yeah, there's quite a few bits there, isn't it? Just uh, makes it look busier. Medium, high, epic. Okay, so most of the branches are there on low, apart from the distant ones. There's one up here. High, epic, right. Shadows. This will be a pretty big hit, and it's a good one if your GPU is struggling to turn down. So we're on epic. Let's go to low. Wow. That was noticeable. Check that out. Yeah, that's a big deal. Low, medium. Medium's a nice compromise. High, epic. Actually, it's quite... A quite a difference there if you look at the tree trunk here uh, where the mouse pointer is look at epic and then look at high yeah that's quite a difference okay so left alt is apply okay let's apply that yes let's do that and go back okay what we're going to do now is run msi afterburner so we can have a look at some of the details of how the game's affecting cpu gpu memory etc i've got this installed on a 7200 speed normal hard drive i didn't think it was necessary to stick it on an ssd the computer is running windows 10 uh, pro on an intel ssd and recording onto a samsung ssd so we shouldn't have any delays there okay so let's uh, let's load msi up and uh, see how we go so sitting here on the memory, uh, sorry, on the memory, on the menu, get the words right, uh, we are looking at a four gigabyte card, aren't we, with these settings, and this is pretty much maxed. I had one on medium, I couldn't really tell the difference, but it was maxed at that. Bear in mind on an ultra-wide display, I am running a lot more pixels than a normal uh, 1080p display, so if you're in a 1080p display, you will get better performance. Okay, so CPU cores on the memory, yeah, no, no big deal. Let's go straight into game. Okay, is so frame rate here, 45... Right, okay, go free hunt. See what free hunt does. Yeah. So free hunt, we have to unlock everything then. Oh, we've got different different trains and stuff. This is looking really nice. We've got a nice one. Quite like that, yeah. You know what? There's some good artwork looking at these uh, these pictures. I'm 
quite impressed. What's this one? Arctic Tundra. Okay, let's go then. Uh, 24 hour day. That's, oh, whoa, here we go. What we got? Primary weapon. Yeah. Okay. We've got proper hunting rifles here. 12 gauge. Pump action. Pump action for hunting? What are we hunting? You know, rhinos? Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, a bow. Oh, I would love to start with the bow. Okay. Crossbow. Oh, yeah, a bit of Walking Dead going on here. Get your Norman Reedus in there. What have we got? It's an odd looking one, isn't it? Tranquilizer rifle, right, okay. Compound bow. Oh, that has got to be an unlock, hasn't it? That's a big gap. Sorry guys, I'm deviating from our options, graphics and settings thing. So let's have a quick look how it runs, yeah? We will go with that. And this one we will go with the first one. Okay. Items. Ooh, what do we get to carry? Oh, okay, loads of stuff. No. None. Optics. No, we can't have any optics. Oh, that's a shame. Start mission. Yes, I accept the loadout. How long does this take to load then? Like I say, we're not on an SSD. So let's, let's have a see. See what's cracking off shouldn't take long the install size wasn't too big um, off the top of my head it was around 10 gigabytes um, that it had to install don't quote me on that I'd have to go back to Steam and check but I'm sure I saw 10 gigabytes okay that is a very large gun nicely detailed sight okay it does take a lot of the picture up though doesn't it okay so we are looking at four what we're we looking at three gigabytes on the GPU RAM. Uh, it doesn't look too taxing. It's only using 30-40% per core. 43 frames per second on these settings. So if you drop probably shadows to high, you get probably a lock 60 there. That's interesting. We get some screen tear there. And I'm pretty sure I put these things on. Have a look. A bit jittery. Let it settle down. Okay, did we put did we can we check? So if we've got V-Sync on, display. No, it's not that one, is it? It's graphics. V-Sync, V-Sync. V-Sync. Oh. Cannot see a V-Sync. It's most unusual okay so what we'll do is turn shadows down to high it made quite a difference didn't it foliage down to high we'll turn wow where's off the foliage gone oh wait we're loading it back in okay high okay um we'll put view distance not too fussed on the view distance to be honest uh Turn those all down pretty much to high. Leave that on epic, textures on epic, see how we go. Left alt apply. Apply, yes. Okay. 54 frames per second. It does feel smoother straight away, I must admit. Come on, I'm pressing the turbo key here. We should be, should be turboing. We are running, this is good. 48, 49 frames per second, CPU, nah, it's hardly touching it, so it is, it is GPU limited then, 99% GPU usage, okay, could be memory limited as well, this is a DDR3 RAM, so, what do we leave a mark on the tray? Yes we do, okay. Now I've scared everything away that I was trying to hunt. So there we go guys, that's what sort of performance you're going to get on this type of system. Running the higher settings. If we drop everything right down and see uh, what sort of performance we get here. Yeah? Options, graphics. 
all the way down so we got epic let's go low on absolutely everything so you can get an idea of how fast this can run detailed fur off view distance low foliage low shadows low okay that's everything yeah left alt Okay, so 61 frames per second. Looks like PUBG. Looks like PUBG on the Xbox. That was nasty, sorry. PUBG, good game. Okay. We have got a very much locked 60 frames per second though. You got Pobo with the hitting that way. Okay, to run guys, you've got to remember to press shift after pressing walk forward otherwise it doesn't work so we'll just go to this little uh, we'll get to the view here and have a look over the view see if it affects frame rate and uh, that you know, pretty much should cover it oh the guy's tired now uh, I've certainly not got a special forces guy or anything there we go guys nice we like that I think I've got a headshot. Okay, and this is on minimum quality. I don't think I could play it like this. I'll probably turn a few bits down, to be honest. But, sorry, turn a few bits up. I can turn it down. Okay, so here we go. Can you collect it? What can you do? What's this? Oh, it's showing you dung. Okay, yeah. We, we gather where it is. It's dead. Hmm. Let's go back to uh, some reasonable settings and uh, watch all the distance change. Yeah? Epic, 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 fur, epic. We'll have a look at the fur quickly before we call it a day because we've got one right in front of us here. So left alt, apply, yes. Back to the game. 47 FPS. Where are we? There we go, this is your detailed fur. Yeah, okay. Let's go to the top, have a look over. So if hunting is your thing, this is the game for you. It's not the game for me though, we will quickly say that. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If this video is absolutely any help whatsoever to you, please give me a thumbs up on your way out. Goodbye for now.